she decides to run in 2016. Looks like she's going to. But does Bill Clinton really want her to be president of the United States? Daniel Halper is our next guest, the online editor for the Weekly Standard and the author of Clinton Incorporated, the audacious rebuilding of a political machine. And Daniel, welcome to the program here. Okay, uh, w the bombshell that I'm hearing from you is that Bill Clinton really wouldn't want Hillary Clinton to be president of the United States. Why not? Bill Clinton's a deeply conflicted man. On the one hand, he obviously like, wants the best for his wife, but on the other hand, he's been selfish. He's cheated on her before. And aides who have watched him, who have watched him campaign it for her in 2008 and make mistake after mistake, they couldn't help but wonder to himself whether or not he really wants his wife to be president. Keep in mind that his legacy would look terrible in contrast to hers. He's the guy who gets caught with his pants down in the Oval Office. She's the one who's the first woman president, historic yeah, figure history automatically, maker. and she's the best of the Clintons then if, he, if they both become president. That's a, that's a conflict within him that he has yet to be resolved. Now, how do you know that? What are your sources? Uh, well, I have a lot of on-the-record sources. I've talked to uh, the former Democratic vice presidential candidate, Joe Lieberman. I talked to Howard Dean. I talked to a lot of Democrats. I talked to a lot of Republicans. I talked to cabinet members. I talked to uh, senators. I talked to aides, critics. I talked to a lot, a lot of people. I think this is a well-reported, well-sourced interesting, fascinating read, and I'd recommend all your viewers check it out for themselves. Well, if he's such a narcissist, Bill Clinton, uh, as, you, as you're stating, wouldn't he want to be back in the spotlight, back in the White House? But he's not going to be back in the spotlight. He's going to be, he's going to be playing second fiddle. You know, a spousal role in the White House is not necessarily such a great honor. It's not necessarily something that, uh, that like, if you yeah. think back to Laura Bush or even Michelle Obama, you know, you, you're talking about obesity, you're talking about sort of uh, secondary issues, not that they aren't important, but they aren't sort of the presidential level issues. And Bill Clinton is a, one, a man that wants people to respect him. He wants to be loved by everybody. Those sorts of secondary issues are not the kind of things yeah. that, that excite him hey, in that um, kind of way. Sorry to interrupt. Before we run out of time here, one of the most interesting things in the book for me was the person who really is pulling the puppet strings when it comes to the Clintons. It's Chelsea. Explain. Absolutely. Aides believe that Bill Clinton cannot say no to Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea caught, obviously, her dad with his pants down in the Oval Office. And it's created this guilt complex where Chelsea sort of is able to dominate and run this show. Likewise, Hillary feels guilty for not necessarily being there all the time. She feels guilty and isn't even able to say no to Chelsea. Chelsea is an enormously ambitious person, which is right. fine, except she doesn't have the political experience to run a campaign. And that's something that is worrying aides and people who when want to When you mention that, I think of that image of them running. walking to the helicopter. Uh, she's in between Bill and Hillary Clinton. During right, the that's a total night. photo op yeah. created by Bill Clinton to sort of pull the family together, and Daniel? she's the one sort of standing behind. Uh, thanks for being on. Very hey, it's interesting. Great. Thank you. I've got to get right back to this here. A Fox News alert. Moments ago, the United States Embassy in.